The US government was reportedly blocked the sale and export of the Turkish-made T-129 attack helicopter to Pakistan. This was confirmed by Turkey's presidential spokesman Ibrahim Kalin, which Dawn newspaper said that according to Bloomberg News, Turkey's presidential spokesman Ibrahim Kalin said on Monday, March 8, 2021 and I quote, The US has blocked Turkey's helicopter sale to Pakistan, which will likely lead to Islamabad buying it from China, unquote. The US government still insisted the ban for export of the US-made LH Tech CTS-800 engine for Turkish-made attack helicopter, Turkey's presidential spokesman Ibrahim Kalin also said in a report by Dawn newspaper and I quote, the blockade could cause more harm to US interests, unquote. The ban is the result of the Turkey's acquisition of Russia's S-400M missile system. Max Defense Philippines reported almost two years ago, June 2019 that the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group has chosen the Turkish T-129 attack helicopter for their attack helicopter acquisition project under the Horizon 2 phase priority project of the revised AFP modernization program. Even if the Philippines is allied to the United States, the sanctions and export ban of LH Tech CTS-800 engine to Turkey still remains. Max Defense Philippines revealed on December 23, 2020, that Leonardo Helicopters could assist in the acquisition of the LH Tech CTS-800 engine as it also powers the Philippine Navy's AW-159. Max Defense Philippines also reported that Turkey Aerospace Industry had sought the help of Leonardo Helicopters in the acquisition of LH Tech CTS-800 engine from the United States, to fulfill the obligation of Turkey Aerospace Industry to the Philippine Air Force. This kind of arrangement is still hang in the balance as this might rejected by the US government and impose another sanction to other parties and if Turkey aerospace industry can meet its deadline for the first batch which is said to be this year 2021. End.